Hey guys, Scott from Freyprops here, and today we're going to take a quick look at how to control two of our Flame Blaster units using a Pico DMX and the Free Director software. Uh, this is a question we've been getting fairly often recently, is how do you control two units or more simultaneously to create a synchronized performance? And we're going to show you how to do that here. So the first thing you'll need is the director software. It's a free download. Uh, we have it open here and we're going to go ahead and create a new program. So this is the first step. We'll be creating our director program for the show. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go up to file and hit new. And this will create a new show and we're going to select our controller. Today we're using the Pico DMX, so we'll just click there and we'll uh, title our show. We'll just call this one Flame Unit Demo and hit select and it will create a new show for us. So next we have to add the units that we'll be controlling. So there's a little plus button here, we just need to click that. Uh, we're going to select our device, we're using a DMX fixture, so we'll click that. It'll open up uh, the device browser here. Uh, we're going to look in the included devices, look under manufacturer for fright props, and then we'll choose the flame blaster. We're going to be using our standard flame blaster unit here, so we'll just click that and you'll see it uh, pre-fills in the channels um, with the correct information here and we're just going to go ahead and select and click select so there's one of the flame blaster units is added and ready to program uh, we just need to add the second one so we'll just hit the plus again go to the fixtures find fright props find flame blaster and we'll just go ahead and select and hit select again and now we have two flame blasters. So you can see there's blaster one here and blaster two here. So now we need to create a program. If you're new to director for uh, things that you're just turning on and off, you'll see there's a timeline here ticking up the seconds and a bunch of boxes here that you can check or uncheck as you move your recording out. So basically when the uh, box is checked red, it's on. If we uncheck it to white, it's off. These flame blasters require two channels of DMX in order to operate. So for each blaster, when we want it on, we're going to fill in both of these channels. Uh, so to start off, let's have both blasters go off for one second. So we're just going to click and drag out to one second on both channels for the first blaster. And we're going to do the same for the second blaster. So this will mean that both blasters start out being on for one second. Let's uh, drag out to give ourselves some more time here. Uh, next let's have them do like a little alternating pattern so maybe for like a third of a second here we'll have the first one come on then we'll do the same for the second one back to the first and then finish up with the second again uh, then we'll take another here we'll just drag over to give ourselves a little more time to work with and next let's have them both come on for an extended time. We'll just drag it out to, let's say we can drag it out to the five second mark. And again, you can just click and drag to select and deselect. So I can just click and drag wherever I want the blasters to be on. So let's say we want both of them to be on all the way out to five seconds. And then for a finale, maybe just a quick quarter second burst from both units. Okay, so now that we've laid out our show, uh, all we have to do is export it. So I have an SD card inserted into the uh, SD card reader on this computer here. We'll just go ahead and click export. Uh, it will give us some info here. Just click select and it'll go ahead and export. And it'll pop up the export instructions. Basically, we're just going to take this SD card and pop it into our Pico DMX where it'll save the show and then we'll connect our flame blasters. So that'll be the next step. One last thing before we go is that you need to know what address to set your DMX fixtures to. If you're curious about that, you can just go over here to where you see the names of the units and right click. So it'll say here, base DMX address is 2. So we know that the first blaster needs to be set to a DMX address of 2. If we need to know the same information for the second blaster, we just click and it'll say base DMX address of 4. So we know that the first blaster has to be set for 2 and the second to 4. So let's go ahead and head over to the blasters, get that set up, and we'll go from there. Okay, so here's a view of the first blaster with the DMX address set to 2. To do that, you just flip down the second DMX switch, which will set the address to 2. On the second blaster, we need to set the address to 4. And to do that, you flip the third switch down, because the counting on the DMX dip switches is binary.
So this one's set to 4 and all ready to go. Once you have the DMX addresses set correctly, you just need to plug all the cables into the units. So you'll have to have one cable going into the first unit from the Pico DMX and make sure that it is set to the DMX option on the power switch. Uh, the second cable goes from the first unit to the second. You can see it coming in there. Um, and the last thing we'll have to do is just hit play on our Pico DMX. If you're new to doing that whole setup, you can check out a video which I'll put a link to in the description of this video which shows you how to do all that. So we'll go ahead and just switch the second unit to DMX, hit play, and you can check out our show.